Hello friends, welcome back to another session of Web Technologies. In today's class, I'm going to show you how to develop a JSP application and run it in Tomcat. So the first thing that I need to do is I need to go to the JDK. Okay. So, so it is there in the C drive, program files, um, then Java, and inside this go to the JDK and go to the lib of the JDK. Okay, so I'm going to the lib of the JDK. And you can see that there is one jar file, which is tools over here. Okay, So this is the jar file, which is tools, and this is the jar file. Okay, so for the JSP to run, we require these tools. So we need to copy these tools to the Tomcat. So I'll do that now. So I'm copying this. Okay, so copy this, copy this, and go to the Tomcat lib. So Tomcat lib is there in the program files, then Apache Software Foundation, then Tomcat, and then go to the lib of the Tomcat and paste it over here. Okay, so paste it over here. So once you paste it, so this will come here inside your Tomcat lib. Okay, so this is uh, where I have pasted it. So the tools. Uh, dot jar okay jar file and come now now come to the from jar link okay so this is the first thing that we need to do okay so now i'm closing all this and uh, uh, as you already know that we require the uh, jdk we require tomcat to run your jsp and prior to this you need to install jdk and then tomcat and uh, after that you need to copy the tools dot jar into the tomcat link now I'm going to create a folder. So create a new folder. So just name it as JSP demo. So I'm naming this folder as JSP demo. And you just need to follow the directory structure that we already have followed for the server. So inside the JSP demo, so this is the JSP demo folder. So I'm creating one more folder, which is nothing but web hyphen inf. Okay. So web hyphen inf. So uh, in here, again, I need to create one file, okay? So I need to create one file. Um, so I'm opening the notepad. So inside this notepad, I'll be typing my JSP file. So the first thing is I'm giving the directive uh, elements. So the directive element starts with the lesser than percentage and the rate. And I'm giving the directive element to be a page, okay? So this is the name of the directive element page. And then I'm mentioning the content type. So this is for the browser. So the content type is text slash HTML. So the output will be in the text or in the HTML format. And then I'm giving the language option. So the language is equal to Java. Okay. So the case of Java should be in all lowercase because uh, uh, the attribute value case here are case negative. So I'm putting, the, I'm closing the directive tag for some page and greater than symbol. Showing you a very simple JSP uh, page. So wherein I'm having this template text HTML, and then I have some head head tag. Okay, and then let me give some title. So the title, and then I'm saying my first JSP page. Okay, so my first JSP page, and then uh, close the title. Okay, so and also close the head tag. Okay, so now inside the body, so I'm giving, uh, I'm taking a scripting element. So I'm saying the uh, uh, lesser than percentage, and I am, I want to type for uh, hello Suda for five times. So I'm saying in the i is equal to zero. Then I said i is less than five. Then I'm saying i plus plus. Okay, so this is the opening of my for block, and then. I'm closing my script tag. And then here, I want this to be printed in H3, heading H3. So I want to print hello, Suda. Okay. I want to print it for five times. So I'm closing H3 tag. And now I need to close the curve block. So for that, again, I'm opening the scripting element. And then I'm giving the closing of the curve block. Okay. So I closed it. So finally, I'm closing the body tag. And then I'm closing the HTML tag. So let me explain you this, and then we'll move on with the saving all this. Uh, so the first thing I did is, uh, so this is the 
Okay, so this is the directive elements. Okay, so the directive elements, there are three directive elements, page and then tablet and then include. So I'm using page over here. So this is uh, included in the JSP during the translation. And uh, uh, then uh, this means that the entire page, JSP page needs to follow this particular format. Uh, so the language is Java that we're going to include over here. And then the content type is text slash HTML. So this is this should be the first line. And then I have a HTML code over here. So this HTML code is called as template text. Okay, so HTML head, then the title, and then head, all these are called as the template head. Even your body is called as template head. And then this is nothing but your JSP element. So the JSP element is uh, over here is the scripting element. So the scripting element can include Java in, in it, and the syntax of it is less than percentage. And closing the scripting element should be percentage in greater So in between these two symbols, you can write uh, your Java code. So I just have written a for loop which will iterate for five times. And then what I want to this is the body of the for loop wherein I want the text hello Sudha to be printed in heading 3, okay? And then uh, I'm closing the for block uh, inside the scripting element. Again, I use the same syntax over here. So the scripting elements will be including the language, which is something like the Java. So again, coming to the body, closing body on HTML, this is the template text. So we have two elements inside the JSP page. The first one is the JSP element. So we are having JSP element. And then the second one is, so we do have the JSP element. Uh, JSP element. And next we are having, so JSP element plus then we are having template text. Okay, so we are having JSP element and the template text. So if you see, um, so this, so let me see. Okay, so the first line. Okay, so this first line and then the scripting, and then this closing, all these three are nothing but the JSP elements. Now, this HTML head, and the title head, and then H3, and this body close, and HTML close, all this is nothing but the template text. So it will be including JSP and the template text. So the temp JSP element will be, um, will be used to generate the dynamic content, and this dynamic content, is uh, embedded into this template text and it is given to the browser. So the browser will be uh, showing the response to the client. So now that we understood um, the code that I have written here, so let me save this. So to save this, I need to save it as .jsp, as a .jsp file. So I am clicking on save as. So I'll be putting it in the folder. So the folder is right there in the desktop. So the folder is there in the desktop. Uh, on the desktop, so I have JSP demo. So go into it. And then here, I'm saving it as uh, first dot JSP. Okay. So I'm saving it as first dot JSP and save as type. So the type of the file should be uh, all files. It should be JSP files. So I'm putting all files and then click on save. Okay. So as you click on save, so this is your first.jsp and you can see the type of the file is JSP file. So, and also I'm having web browser. okay? So inside the web browser, um, you can create one more folder for putting your classes. So I'll be putting one more folder to create, a, to put all the servlet classes into it. But as of now, I don't have any, but I'm creating the directory structure. So again, I'm creating one more folder, which is with folder. And I need to create one more file, which is nothing but web.xml. Uh, so to create this web.xml, so let me again open the notepad. So open the notepad. And uh, now, uh, so the first tag is web hyphen app. Okay, so close this web hyphen app and then give the welcome file list. Okay, so welcome hyphen file and hyphen list. Okay, so I'm close this. I'll compile list. Okay, so give a, this is the closing one. 
and the inside is welcome file list where we're having the welcome file okay so what is the welcome file the name of the welcome file is so i need to give a slash and what is the welcome file the name of the welcome file is first dot jsd okay and give the closing of this welcome file so which is welcome hyphen file okay so once i have created this web dot xml so now i need to save it where i need to save it click on save as okay go to the desktop okay on this desktop i have jsd demo inside this web i have i need to save this as web dot xml so i'm saying web dot xml so fine so i have got the mapping so this is my external file so i got the mapping then i got the uh, first file which is jsd so now my folder is ready okay so fine so this is my folder right so what i need to do is just cut this from here so i just cut this from here go to your tomcat web apps so this dc then c drive then program files apache software foundation tomcat 8.5 then I have web apps over here. So to go to this web apps and paste it over here. So I have paste PSP demo inside the web apps. Okay. So now that uh, I have put it in the web apps, go to the bin and start your Tomcat. So I'm clicking on startup. So the Tomcat now started. Okay. So the server started. So go to any of the browser. Okay. So and uh, Check whether Tomcat is server has started or not. As soon as I have typed local host 8080, so I got this page which means that Tomcat server started. So now I have to give a slash here and give the folder where your application is. So my folder is there in JSP demo. So I'm giving the name of the folder, JSP demo, and click on the enter key. So as you Click on the enter key so you can see that hello to the is here five times because I have given a list. So, this is how you execute your JSP file. You create, you deploy, and you execute. So, let me show you one interesting fact about this particular JSP file. So, you don't like your servlets, you don't require to actually um, recompile your code and all that. Okay, so that. Um, uh, drawback is overcome here in your CSP. So I'll show you uh, with the live demo. So just take a look at this uh, particular file. So this is your JSP, right? Uh, so say, for example, I want to say um, hello, Sino, rather than having Suda. So I'm taking off this uh, Suda and I'm putting Sino over here. Okay. And then I am saving this file. So first.jsp is now saved. Okay. So like your servlets, you don't require to recompile it and then restart your Tomcat server and all that. So all that is not required. You just need to refresh your browser. So you have a refresh button over here. So just refresh your button and it will work for you. So you can see that now the program has executed for the new modification. So see no, I got. Okay. So say, for example, I don't want this to print for five times. I can just comment it. So this is how you comment your JSP flipping uh, code. So I just need to put less than percentage and two hyphens and two hyphens and percentage and greater than and so on. So whatever you write in between will be commented. Okay, so will not be executed. So I'm just commenting um, the uh, for loop. Okay, so I just want hello Sino to appear or else you can simply say hello friend. Okay, so I just have changed many modifications I did and save this particular first.jsp and I simply need to refresh it. So as I refresh it, you can see that the modifications are straight away visible and they're executed. So I hope this video is helpful to you. Thank you for watching.